hell is that? So, might I ask what the two of you have been searching in these caves for all this time? Realistically, we were trying to find something, anything, that resembles Glitchtrap's tech. And I think we just did. The three of you that stand in front of me, who are you? Well, friendo, my name is Eclipse, and I am your new master. Hey, what the hell? You can't just call dibs like that. Yeah, bucko, I feel like you're kind of stepping a little head first into this. Shut it, Shadow Boy. Let me do my magic. Besides, we only met you like five minutes ago. You have no input on this yet. My new master. You do not look like anyone that has been assigned to my code. Well, I've simply inherited the wealth. Is that not so easy to understand? It is simple to understand, Eclipse. However, I am detecting if whether or not you are telling the truth. Oh, tie me up and put me in a lie detector test, because I am telling the truth. Wonderful. Why don't we test that theory? Uh, <laughs> yeah. What? Go on, work your magic. Shut up, bear. I don't have my powers anymore. I just kind of figured I'd get in with my smooth talking. And look how that worked out for you. Well, master... Confirm or deny. Uh, alrighty. Can't be that very The only relations I see in my database are to Moonrop, who has now been identified as a traitor. What? That silly old guy? <laughs> no, traitor? <laughs> what are you talking about? Not to mention. Your nervous system seems doubtful. Uh. You are a filthy liar. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, my God! He shocked the hell out of you! So, assuming none of you are in relation to Glitch Trap, who are the other two of you? I am Eleanor, a demon looking to collect more remnants. And I am Nightmare. Biding time, I guess. Alright, the jig's up, I guess. Well, listen, buddy. Glitchtrap's dead. He died a while ago. His entire army's been disbanded, and we're kinda all that's what's left around here to do evil business and stuff. So, uh, you yeah, woke up a little late after the war. Woke up late? Why am exactly on time? It was not predicted that Glitchtrap's entire army was going to be wiped out, but my sole intent was to be his replacement. His replacement? Man, old Glitchy Boy thought far ahead. I'm surprised. He seemed confident. He was. So confident, in fact. It instilled a conflicting feeling in my mother. Your mother? Oh, your creator. So who made you here? Was it a part of his little army? I can think of a couple people. How much were you just watching and doing literally nothing? Listen, I was biding until the old man keeled over and died. If he died, great. All according to plan. But if he lived, eh, I simply would either join him or take him down. Either way, I'd end out on top. And yeah, look who's the one with the big ego now. Ego or belief in my own abilities? Users, we are getting off topic. So, you were meant to be Glitch Trap's replacements. Interesting. So what? Are you just gonna do what he did again? I don't know if you can make another car like he did, pal. That's the one fault in my design. I have what we would call free will. And I am not going to be a mere replacement. Some puppet to be commanded. I... I'm his successor. I know deep down in my programming, it's exactly what my mother would have wanted. Still haven't answered that whole who's your mama part. We gonna have to give old Mori Papa your ring? Oh, but why doesn't she speak for herself? Eleanor, would you kindly hand me the monitor? Huh? 
Oh, this old thing? This thing's wiring is probably all corroded by now, but you can give it a shot, I guess. Corroding is not something I can't overcome. Everyone get comfortable. Please understand my future presentation of my mother's damn turmoil. Almost perfect. You're be done, and Glitch Chop will be proud of me again. Yeah. Your purpose is, well, to make sure that if this whole thing goes under, then Glitch Chop's got somebody to take up what he started. And, you know, I'm sure we can figure out some way to transfer his soul into you and stuff. You know, I've been instilled a lack of general confidence lately. Just trying to figure out what I should do, what path to take. <laughs> you know, it's just... it's a lot. When all the glam rock showed up, things changed. He wasn't the same anymore, and I feel like he stopped paying attention to me. He doesn't see the value that I bring to this team, you know? He'll say that he does, but then he never uses me for anything. But, you know, this'll be different. He'll see the value in this work. He knows that this is, you know, right for everything to go properly. You understand, right? You know what? I don't want to ever have you have to go through that kind of thing, you know? I don't ever want you to know what it's like to be used. You're perfect just the way you are. Like me. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I should probably end the work for the night. I'll be back tomorrow. Mimic Protocol Act 2! <laughs> Install the timer on your little recording thing too, so you don't use too much of your juice. <sighs> you know, I... I think a lot about what Springtrap's told me, you know? Him and Spring Bonnie, you know, they just, they seem so nice, it's just... I don't know. It's a lot of confliction. I feel like one day I could just be tipped one way or the other, but... None of that matters anymore. None of that matters because... Because Trap's going to love me again. And I'm not going to have to think about that anymore. Next time I see you, I'll be a changed woman. I won't even have to think about it anymore. I'll show this to him tomorrow, and he'll appreciate all the work I've done for him. Hey, What are you doing? Uh, uh, boss, what's up? I need to take a call with you. Discuss our plans. Uh, all right. Uh, just give me a second. Boss, what is it? Listen. I'm preparing a little plot... A dinner, if you will, with our dearest Spring Trap and Spring Bunny. Going to introduce them to my plan, really show them the stakes. And I want you to be there, be front and center for them. Just so they really know what they're messing with. Realizing you've betrayed them all this time, it's going to turn them off. And they'll become anxious little worms fall right into my trap. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Um. Okay. Can I show you something tomorrow? There's no time to show me anything. You can show me the next day, but this is important. More important than whatever the hell you have to show me. Oh. Okay. That's fine. Alright, you'll be there, right? Yeah. I'm out! <sighs> it's alright. Fine. Two days from now. It'll just be two days from now. Like I said, next time you see me, I'll be a changed woman. Just for you. Huh. This is an interesting little room. I wonder what little gadgets he's got in here. Oh, look at you! Man, she's got a whole endoskeleton down here. She's got some brains on her, doesn't she? I am Mimic One. Huh. And what do you do? I am meant to be Glitch Trap's replacement if you were to ever cease operations. Cease operations? Do you mean if he fails? <laughs> She she really thought Glitch Trap was gonna fail. Oh my god! She's even stupid.
children than I thought she was. Your whole point is meant to be a replacement. Ugh. God, she really had a doomer mentality when going into this whole thing. So pathetic. No wonder he pulled the best attributes out of her and created me. Hm. No matter. Hmm. No. I feel like I could use you for something. You may be a useful ally on the battlefield. There does seem to be some schematics on the table for weapons. I guess I could get my hands dirty. Maybe she's got some engineering books around here. Ugh, you know, after watching back these tapes, you know, it just, it just, it, I just see so clearly why she lacked so much confidence. She poured so much empathy into you. Like, ugh, God, give me a break. We have a job to do. All this stuff about being cared for and being loved by Glitchtrap. Oh, please, Glitchtrap, love me. Ugh, what a freaking joke. No wonder he made me. I get things done. I don't have to think about feelings. Stupid feelings. She does kind of bring up a good point, though. He doesn't really use me a lot for missions. Eh, whatever. I'll find my own work. I don't need him ordering me around. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I think that weapon is done. You should be able to instill an electroshock through anything. It's pretty cool. It almost mimics Glitchtrap's powers. It's a little limited, but it's close enough. You know, I had an encounter with Monty the other night. We had to fully indoctrinate him into the glitch cult, and he's been integrated with the hive mind. But I don't remember a lot of what happened. I remember we had a fight, and then everything kind of went dark. I don't know why, but when I woke back up, Glitchtrap was there. He was staring at me. He stared at me a lot. He was almost puzzled by me. It's like he wasn't going to look at me the same anymore. Why did that happen? If Vanessa is a human, then what am I? What am I under this mask? Am I some kind of glitch creature? Do I really have a soul? I have to know. I have to know what I am under this mask. <laughs> it's not some like phony thing. It just, why won't it come off? Come on, why won't it come off? I have, to know, I have to know, I have to know, I have to know, I have to The second time this week. What was it this time, huh? Did Freddy finally find you? I doubt it. He's too dumb to realize these kinds of things are operating. What is this little stupid room anyway? Some kind of operating space? I don't know, maybe you concoct your plans or missions. What the hell is this? An endoskeleton? Kinda hard to tell, really. Whatever. It doesn't matter. How we have fallen from grace, truly. God, this is just a mess. Maybe this just goes to show how truly self-deprecating I am. Or how useless I am. After all, you lack any semblance of Vanessa from before. Just a copy, a useless, useless copy that I only feel like I made out of sympathy for her. She was useless, but 
She sort of held my sanity together. But now you're nothing. A disgrace. A monster. Just like me. Is it even worth putting you back together at this point? Do not say those things. What things? I said a lot in the past five minutes. You, we want to speak up. You want to clarify, pal? Oh, mother. This thing? This thing? Listen, pal. I don't know when Vanessa made you. I know that this thing wouldn't be competent enough to make something like you. So I'm gonna guess that the mother you're talking about is the human, not the machine. But she's gone. Long gone. She betrayed me. She betrayed this entire army and went with Henry of all people. So if you're looking for that kind of consolence, it's gone now. It's over. However, if you would be so inclined to do what your mother likely asked of you, and it was to obey my every command, so why don't you join me? Come on, we'd make a great team, wouldn't we? <laughs> oh. I should tear you to shreds right now. In fact, why don't I go ahead start? <laughs> 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 Is this dear old mom to you? Is this what? Is this what you're looking for? <laughs> She's gone now. And it's only me. <sighs> Who am I kidding? I'm talking to a stupid machine. This is what, exactly what I'm talking about when I said my, she held my sanity together. <sighs> what the girl would have wanted. Listen, there's part of me that still cares about Vanessa. I really do. She was probably my best asset. Now she's gone. And whatever the hell this is will never replace her. Truly, anyway. But I can never tell her that. And I know you can't. So, I guess my secret's best safe with you. Enjoy rotting in this place, because I'm never coming back. And I'm not making- I'm gonna make sure she never comes back either. So, have fun. Whatever you are. Good lord, that was an embarrassing display. Who knew Vanessa was right all along? He really did love her. Tough love, maybe. Ugh, that was an embarrassing display. Kinda get your motives now, at least. So, are you sure we should be following in this glitch trap guy's footsteps? Hey, I was looking for the method, not the man! Looks like the method is just as much the man as the man is. Ugh. So, bud, what's your plan now? Well, seeing as my mother wanted to find her place in the world, I should likewise find mine. And I believe restoring the border is what's in order. No pun intended. Eh, this guy's got jokes. I'll give him four out of ten, it was a start. Mm, you know, he's a mimic program. Perhaps we're rubbing off on him. Alright, I want to teach him potty words. Shut up, let the man have his moment. I feel establishing order would result in undermining chaos and removing it from the equation. And well, the three of you seem to embody chaos quite well. Uh, uh hey, buddy, listen. It's a 3v1 here. I don't think you want to start anything. Listen, 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 listen. 
I am a negotiator here, as much as the two of them would like to admit they are. I'm probably the best suited for this confession. We're looking to restore our own order as well. I think it would be quite wise if you teamed up with us. I also believe that to be wise and the most logical decision. Good! So I guess you're on the team. But under one major condition. Yes, go on, on your terms. I want to be the leader. Hey, that was my job, pal! What? Your job? This is my job! I got here first! Wow, assholes! I thought we were splitting this three ways! You guys are so bad at this team thing. I'm sorry that our goals are a little more important than yours, Miss Remnant Lady. I already told him I'm indigenous. Oh, look who cares! Anyone in this room care? It's not me! This bickering, however, feels illogical. I believe I could very easily restore order to this team. It seems as if the three of you lack an element of control. That would be I. Glitchtrap may not have been the best leader, but he certainly was one. I was meant to mimic him. And as any good artificial intelligence would do, I will take what works and discard what doesn't. I will be superior to him and truly show him that we all matter in our own special. That was deeply profound. Are you sure you're a bad guy? Bad guy? When did I ever say I was the villain here? Ah, uh, you know, this guy makes a pretty good point. All right, screw it. I'm in. You can be later. What? <laughs> you literally dropped that so fast. If I can rub it in Mr. Eclipse's face over there, then I'm down. Oh, you're so petty. How do you act so petty when you own up to letting someone else be leader? Oh, that's more arguing I hear, man. Oh, it'd be real shame if we, you know, didn't have someone that could solve all that for us. Oh, I love you. I hate you. I hate every part of you. <sighs> Fine. He can be leader. You and Eleanor? I didn't even know there was a leader until about two minutes ago, so fine! You three have obliged. Good. As that was the most logical decision. Alright, Mimic. What do we do now? Well, the first order of business. I would like to test some of the powers that the second Vanessa installed into my systems. Motion detected. Yeah, I heard that too. Hmm. This is interesting. What's interesting? You see, when my automatic system shut down, my video feed was disabled. However, my motion trackers were not. Between that time and now, there have been a couple instances of motion in this room. Obviously, the three of you lived in this room, and due to your activity around me, were able to activate me. However, there is instances of motion between my protocol and now. Yet this instance was unable to awaken me. Meaning that there is someone that has been in this room. And they might be here now. Oh god. I wonder if Henry's found us. Ah, couldn't be that guy. I took care of him pretty easy. Could it be Springtrap? That guy died, but they never found the body. It was in a giant room filled with ash. It burned! Eh, uh, you never know. Actually, I do know. I know he has been turned into Ash. He is not alive anymore. No way. Maybe Shadow Freddy's back from the dead. Would make those illusions I created earlier pretty ironic. Would the three of you stop your logical guesses? Estimated height, 4 foot 9. Estimated weight, 110 pounds. Pinpointing location. What? Move. That is an order. <laughs> Jeez. I found you. Ow! Asshole! Warn me next time! <laughs> he nailed you right in the face. Oh! God! <laughs> oh, oh! That was karma! That was instant karma! Shut up! Oh my gosh. It appears you are one. You are not within my database. Please state your name. Um, uh, my name's Cassie. What purpose do you have for being down here? 
this is my only place to go. Can you let go of my hand? Why have you been entering into this room? You avoided my sensors. Clearly, you are stealthy. Look, I just... Do I have to explain? Can you just let me go? Fine. I will not force you to explain your reason for being here. However, you now know the existence of my alliance. I cannot allow you to escape this room alive. That, or I find some way to keep your mouth shut. So, which one is it going to be? Fine. Ah, shit. All right, little girl, spill the beans. Who are you? <clears throat> Not only am I restricting your nerves, uh, another little notation. These things absorb electricity. That's not gonna work on me. Damn it. Um. Trying to pull the fast one on me is not wise, but it does prove your use. So, you're not some simple girl. Please confirm my query. Are you an android? Yes. So, who exactly are you? Where do you come from? Well, like I said, my name's Cassie. And I'm... Gregory's older sister. Oh my god. Holy plot twist. Well, Cassie, I may not have met this Gregory, but I think I may be able to get you whatever you want. And this may be the start of a beautiful, beautiful, 